Hi, I'm Mike with Dead Air, and I would like to take a minute today and just talk about concentricity, explain to you what that is exactly, what to look for, and kind of how it's going to affect your suppressor alignment in this case. Concentricity is outside of barrel threads to inside of bore. Now, your barrel threads can be off the side of the bore or they can be crooked to the bore. The barrel threads have a little bit of play in them so that you can take them on and off. The thing that really sets the how square the muzzle device or can is going to be to the barrel is the shoulder that the muzzle device or can direct thread adapter this isn't brand specific by any means, hits the barrel shoulder. If the barrel shoulder is cut off on an angle, that'll let it rock on the threads when you tighten it down and make it crooked. Or if it seats on the muzzle, same thing. If the muzzle face isn't super square. I'd say the biggest offender of that is, of course, the AK. So it can have crazy concentricity issues because it's not really made to have anything precision on the end. I would like to give you an example of this rifles chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. It shoots fantastic. I've shot it with several different cans. I've changed muzzle devices around on it a couple times and I have, I just grabbed three cans. I mostly shoot it with a Wolverine myself a Nomad 30 and a Nomad L are also excellent sounding and shooting cans on this rifle. I'm going to install these cans and give you a little close up. And I haven't put this rifle on a lathe to find out if the barrel shoulder is a little off to the side or maybe it's threaded a little crooked or off to one side. You want to have a minimum around your alignment rod of about 20 thousandths of an inch. You would take a wire feeler gauge. If you don't have that, I'm not going to use that because I don't, I'm guessing that you probably don't have that. I'm just going to give you a visual and show you how I check for it by flexing the rod over a little bit. But you'll see that all these three cans and every can I put on this rifle it lays over to one side just a little bit, but again, it shoots awesome and I've had several different cans on it. It doesn't have to be dead down the middle. There's some clearance built in there. You don't want your rod to touch the can and you want that 20 thou at least gap between the front cap and the side of the rod. So let's, uh, let's screw them on and let you take a look at that. I'll gently ease that rod down not to scratch my sweet rifling. I like to get it kind of flush with the cap just to take a visual. Here, I'll try to stop wiggling a little here for you. Take a visual of where that rod lies in there. So you can plainly see it has well over 20 thou and this is going to be the test that you're probably going to do that I do the most. I'm going to pull the rod out of it a little bit. Now I'm going to See, I have a, quite a bit of play there. I promise that won't affect it all. Now let's look at another cannon. Remember, it's kind of off to the side here a little bit. Now this Nomad LTI is a little longer, so it's going to be a little further away, so it's going to accent that a little bit. Let me give you the easy straight view there. Hopefully you can see that. Now I'm going to kick it out a little bit. Now I'm going to do my little flex test. See, it has plenty of room, but see what I'm saying? Everything on the, every can I put on this rifle is just a little closer right here than it is anywhere else. This Wolverine actually sounds amazingly well, more than you would think on 6.5 Creed bolt guns, but I'm going to give you that little view where you can kind of see it flush. 
See how it's still a little closer over here, but very far enough away not to bug it, but see I just have to flex a little bit there. Same place as every can and muzzle device I've ever put on this rifle kind of lies on it, but more than enough room. I see people get a little like panic stricken when it's not dead in the middle and I promise it doesn't have to be dead in the middle. It has a little variance built in there, but you want it as close to center as possible. Okay, there's a lot of great alignment rods out there. I just grabbed a few. We have a toolbox right around the corner. You can't see here. We have a drawer full of them, but this is a Geisley rod. Great rod. This particular one is a piece of precision ground steel that we cut and what you want to do is just every once in a while, you probably have one of those sweet granite countertops. Give it a little roll. Just make sure it's dead straight. I'm sure it's going to start out that way, but make sure it hasn't been bent. And then this is a accuracy solutions rod and we use a lot of accuracy solutions rods. Um, buy a quality rod, check to make sure that it's straight. Okay, I hope that clarified muzzle suppressor threading concentricity. If you ever have any questions or want to confirm, shoot me a picture of your suppressor and rod, how it aligns, info at deadairsilencers.com. We'll get right back with you. Thank you.